I said I wasn't going to do it, and here I am doing it. I said that I wasn't going to plant anything without doing a video because every year I go outside and I start working and I forget to record what I'm doing. And it's not that I want everybody to know what I'm doing every single day of my life, but I do have some information to share. And this is two tips on tomato plants. Now, this will be the third time that I've transplanted these tomato plants. Pipsqueak, you want to go down the hole? And uh, they're starting to look sad because they're basically root bound. So they're starting to yellow, but they'll snap right out of it. Um, so here's two tips I'm going to give you right away. I don't know if you can see this, but let me find a little better, better looking plant. Or one that would be a little better for this example. We'll go with this one. It's a little bit taller. That, that hole was a little too deep for that one. So you got this plant. It's probably... I'll put this next to a garden. It's uh, the size of a garden spade. So it's probably 12 inches. Yeah, probably 12 inches. And I've dug a hole. Now, when I pull this tomato plant out, hopefully, one-handed, and stick this in the hole, you can see that, well, up to, up to here is in the ground. So, half, half of the height of this tomato plant is probably 18, well, if it's 12, then that would probably be, you know, all but the last four inches of it's going to be in the ground. So whenever you plant tomato plants, you want to plant them deeper. And I've done this every time I've transplanted them. So when they were transplanted from starter cells into here, they were a little bit taller than the cup. And I planted literally them all the way to the bottom, filled it up with dirt and just maybe an inch stuck up out of the cup. Now that I'm planting them outside, we're doing the same thing. Now, the second tip I want to give you is, by the time that I move this soil around this, I'll just go ahead and do it so you can see it. The, uh, the leaves and branches on this one side are going to touch the ground. That is like the absolute worst thing you can do for a tomato plant. And you've seen that I pinched off the one leaf that was going to be under, or the one limb that was going to be underground. Now this one is touching the ground, and I'm just going to pinch it off. Just like that. You want to make sure it's like that all the way around. Any place that's going to touch the ground, just go ahead and pinch it off. Better to pinch it off up close to where the stem's at, but I didn't want to cut that one too short. I wanted to leave some foliage on there. So you can plant a tomato plant all the way up to the top two sets of leaves. So I could have actually, well, we'll just go ahead and do it. I'll just go ahead and pinch that off. That's the one I started to pinch off and didn't, and I did it anyway. So for tomato plants, Plant them deep, plant them all the way up to two stems. I could have planted it that deep, but it was already good. I don't know, eight inches in the ground, that's fine enough. Plant them deep. Don't let any leaves touch the ground. That's the tips I can give you for tomato plants. That's the way I've done it all the way down through here. They are all probably twice as deep as a red cup. Or a blue cup, whichever you got. I use them both, whatever I got on hand. Some of them are three, three of them deep. So, uh, hopefully that'll help you out. And that's the best tip I can give you for doing tomato plants. Um, I'm trying to get these done tonight, and I'll tell you why. It's supposed to rain tonight, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So by me planting them now, when it rains, that means I don't have to water them in. The ground's a little bit wet because it did rain this morning. So I get these done. 
I don't know, I'm putting out maybe 30 tomato plants. And uh, then in probably about another week, if the weather holds out, I'll go ahead and do peppers next. And then shortly after that will be sweet potatoes. All right, here's a tip that has to do with pepper plants. If you have pepper plants starting to bloom too early, literally cut the blooms off. I know people hate to do it. But let me tell you, if you don't, that plant is going to put literally all of its energy into growing them little peppers. And the pepper plant is never going to get very tall. It sucks. I know a lot of people, it kind of like, they think, they think they're, you know, killing the plant. No, you're actually helping the plant. You're helping the plant. By directing its energy into growing and not fruiting. It's kind of the same way for fruit trees. Sometimes the fruit trees get too many blooms on them. It can, it can actually damage the trees if you go ahead and let them bloom too early. Peppers are the exact same way. Get rid of them. These pepper plants probably aren't even a foot tall yet. I definitely don't want them blooming right now way too small it would stunt their growth and you would not have a very good crop the rest of the year so just get rid of them by the way you do realize pepper plants cannot feel you pulling these off right i know there's some people out there that's going to disagree i think they're going to kill their plants just do it You will thank me later. Trust me. You want all of this plant's energy to go into growing right now, not, not blooming and trying to produce fruit. Well, technically it's a vegetable, but kind of the same deal. You want it to direct all of its energy into growing, not in producing vegetables. So, that's a tip I'm going to give you for pepper plants. I just posted another tip for tomato plants. And as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Thanks for watching.